it's spilling in my box did it break hello everyone if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Vanessa and this is my daughter Emily today's video I will be unboxing February's BoxyCharm base box and I really haven't opened it at all here is my box let's start opening this up and I'm so excited I recently signed up for BoxyCharm this is my second box from them and I'm actually loving them I just feel like it's such a great alternative when you just want to grow your makeup collection and for $25 for five items that's a whole steal I'm so excited Here's the BoxyCharm card. Let's start off with the first item. If I mispronounce some items, I'm sorry. I... I'm just sorry. <laughs> well, the first item is the Kate Somerville Serum, which is this baby. I'm actually kind of upset. I didn't get the palette. I didn't have the... I don't know if you were supposed to pick it. I wasn't able to pick it for this box and this retails for $98 it says K specifically formulated this highly active concentrate to transform sagging skin 97% of women reported their skin appear visibly tighter Ooh, okay I'm kind of scared to try serum I tried the serum and it broke me out so bad but this serum isn't that bad will I be using it I honestly don't think I'll be using this keeping it real with you guys the next item is the sponges which is the sponge set i actually was excited to get this and i'm glad i got the sponges because we could never have enough beauty sponges one is a detail blender one is a precision blender and the other one is a powder blender but well, let's put them aside because we're gonna be trying it later on the next item i received was the self tanning drops Control your glow with our custom made self tanning drops. 12 shades of tan in one bottle. Just add your favorite moisturizer. What? I'm just blown away. I didn't even know this was possible. <gasps> no freaking way. It's spilling. In my box, did it break? I don't think it broke and it's vegan friendly cruelty free and organic i didn't even know this was possible i feel like i should try this out now i'm gonna get back to you guys with this but i'm just blown away but moving on to the next item which is the first a beauty facial radiance pants pants pads it's a daily treatment pad that exfoliate tone and brighten all skin types regular use of all pads will smooth the skin texture Providing the perfect canvas for a flawless makeup application. So does that mean that it removes texture skin? I'm about to try this today. I've actually tried their repair cream and my personal preference, I don't like it. The cream was good when it comes to moisturizing but the smell threw me off. To me it smelled like feet cream and I just couldn't use it again. But I just hope it doesn't have that same scent. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But let's just move on to the last item which is the Mate Liquid Lip Stain. And it retails for $17. Ooh, I got the Monroe shade which looks like it's a red lippy. I've never really tried a lip stain but I'm so excited. And it's literally just a red liquid lip stain mate matte whatever you want to call it these are all the five items i got and we're gonna start off with the toner because i really don't think i'm gonna be using the kate serum and the tanning yeah i'm not about a 10 right now i'll probably do a whole separate video about that tanning drop so i'm gonna go in with the facial radiance pads i have my face washed and everything and the pads are moist and have a lot of product which i love because we know there be some dry pads out here that barely have product inside them so i guess we're just gonna it has no no smells oh that's a plus it actually feels so refreshing i won't be able to tell a major difference because it's my first day ever using them but one thing i could tell you is that they 
moisturize the crap out of your skin because my skin just feels so good and refreshed so that's one thing i like and i feel like i will be using this product the next item we're gonna go in is with the beauty sponges i just love that the beauty blenders are all these cute neutral colors because i just love that they just look so aesthetically pleasing to your eyes and I can't open it. Here are the blenders and I love the little tiny one. Let's just see how they feel and just start touching them up. So they just feel firm right now, not so squishy. But I'll get back to you guys when I soak these babies up and see if they're squishy like the real technique sponges because those are some sponges that I love because just how soft they feel. So I'll get back to you guys. A few inches later. I am currently shook on how big the little beauty blender got. Look how big the little beauty blender got. Can you believe that was a little blender? So here are how the other blenders look like. And they really look the same just a bit bigger they are soft but i'm not gonna lie not as soft as real technique sponges and i just love how the small blender feels it's just so soft and i love it but we're gonna go ahead and start putting my foundation on and see how this blender applies the foundation one thing i could say is that it feels like a bit uh, not a bit it feels like more stiffer to apply the foundation and i don't know how to feel about it besides that it applied the foundation smoothly it definitely applied the foundation smoothly as you guys could tell and obviously i look a little bit oily right now because the foundation hasn't dried up the only thing that i could really tell the difference is the fact that it does feel stiffer but besides that i'm not mad about it so we're gonna go ahead with the a little beauty blender to apply my concealer i really don't want to mess it up it's just so pretty Now that the concealer is done, I'm going to go in with powder and I'm going to go in with the like the tan kind of beauty blender. And when I go in with translucent powder, I tend not to put a lot. I necessarily do not bake. It's just more of a tapping it onto my skin. I totally forgot about contouring and I just set my eyes, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to go in and use the sponge to contour as well. the whole sponge set will i be using it yes i will be using it because who doesn't love any sponges but in reality i will be sticking to my real techniques i just feel like they're more softer and the big ones honestly are stiff but i do absolutely love the little one because it's just so squishy and it's less stiffer than the other two but i'm not mad at it i will be using them they are blenders and at the end of the day I'll be using them. Let's go ahead with the last item, which is the matte liquid lip stain. Ooh, the color is absolutely gorgeous. I am in no words. I absolutely love this liquid matte lip stain my lips aren't dry at all it obviously didn't suck the life out of my lips it's not drying at all and i just love it the color everything you name it i love it i will be using this i just realized this just now that there's basically 0.1 percent of transfer with this lip stain i'm about to show you guys look the little amount of transfer that my hand has again nothing just the transfer for the first go i absolutely love it that's it hands down nobody's gonna change my mind to run it down am i excited and happy about this whole february boxy charm um I loved it but I felt like January's box was more like wow to me I feel it's because I didn't get the eyeshadow palette which I'm kind of upset and salty but it's okay I will be using the radiance pads I will be using the liquid lipstick I will be using the sponges and I will be using the tanning 
drops well i'm gonna figure it out and see whether i like, I like it or not but when it comes to the kate serum i really don't think i'm gonna use it i just don't trust serums right now <laughs> it's like a gambling with me and serums because i feel like they're just gonna break me out and i just don't want to go through that whole process again but i i'll give this boxy charm a pass i'm not mad at it this is the end of me unboxing the boxy charm february base box I almost forgot today's shout out and today's shout out is gonna go to Des X Rosie Vlogs. If you haven't subscribed to them, go show them some love and tell them that you are coming for me. They are so funny and you guys will enjoy their content. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe for more content and thank you for watching everyone. Bye!